So here I am in Cucuta. It's the border town of Colombia with Venezuela. And just today we met these guys back here that uh, are playing in the river. Um, they had just traveled all day and all night uh, from Venezuela to arrive here in Colombia. They were trying to sell knickknacks in the central park of Cucuta. And we came across them and we started asking them uh, to tell us a little bit about their story. They uh, don't have really anywhere to go tonight. They don't have much money to eat. Um, they're just starting out from scratch. And uh, we've been able to hang out with them a little bit, share the gospel. And I just think of how Jesus, when he called his disciples, uh, he was on the shore of the Sea of Galilee and he said, come, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. That came after a uh, night in which they hadn't been able to uh, uh, find or catch any fish and yet they had a miraculous catch and they left it all there on the shore and they started following Jesus precisely because they understood that Jesus had power even to control the fish and so they might as well follow him because uh, Jesus could provide and these guys man they're just like barely surviving and perhaps in the midst of their desperation they're a little more willing to hear and accept the gospel and I really hope that they like the disciples can start following Jesus and uh, even though the disciples they had the most incredible experience for three years as they were learning from Jesus and following after him uh, then Jesus died and they were a bit confused a bit overwhelmed and they went back to the Sea of Galilee and they were fishing once again they hadn't been able to catch anything all night and then Jesus called them from the shore to throw the net on the right hand side and once again they had a miraculous catch and they uh, met up with Jesus and ate with him and then Jesus reinstituted Peter asking him if he loved him more than these and I guess I realized that Jesus uh, he asks me whether or not I love him more than my comfort whether or not I love him more than uh, my popularity uh, if I love him more than my wealth and if I'm willing to make myself uncomfortable to make fishers of men and to feed his sheep. So here I am trying to do that and I realize that there's a whole lot of work that needs to be done. There's a poem by Amy Carmichael that says, from prayer that asks that I may be sheltered from winds that beat on thee, from fearing when I should aspire, from faltering when I should climb higher. From silken self, O captain, free thy soldier who would follow thee. From subtle love of softening things, from easy choices, weakenings. Not thus are spirits fortified, not this way went the crucified. Give me the love that leads the way, the hope that nothing can dismay, the faith no disappointments tire, a passion that will burn like fire. Let me not sink to be a clod, make me thy fuel, flame of God. And that's my prayer.